After round 14, um, we got away with a clean bill of health through both AFL and VFL games. Uh, now, as you know, the boys are, are off on their bye round, uh, and we thought it'd be a great chance to um, feed back to the members, um, yeah, a deeper dive into our availability and our injury breakdown um, to date so far, and then a look ahead then to the final nine rounds of the season. So the first slide that we're looking at um, looks at a breakdown of injury per round and the subcategories of injury um, that we look at in terms of our KPIs here at the club. The four main categories that we've got split into two even categories. So one we deem is controllable factors and the other one uh, is uncontrollable factors. So in the uncontrollable factors, that's where we deal with illness and other. Uh, other usually represents um, suspension. Uh, and then we look at traumatic, which looks at bone breaks, concussion, finger injuries, and then the controllable factors, which are soft tissue injuries uh, and then overuse injuries. So if we look at our, our overuse and stress injuries, early in the season we would have had Ben Mackay with that stress reaction in his foot, and then midway through we had Jackson Archer, had that early onset of pubic overload. And then when we look through the soft tissue numbers, um, which have been pretty good, Aidan Bonnar with a quad strain, we had three hamstring strains, which two were, were really low level with Josh Goder and Darcy Tucker, uh, and the more moderate strain then with Luke Davis Uniac. Obviously, you can see by the graph, we've been dealt heavily, heavily by traumatic factors um, with our injury rates this year. Obviously, Braden George came into the programme off the back of an ACL. Uh, we've had um, Tristan Cherry and Charlie Combin with their ankle and leg fractures. Jack Manny then with his, his shoulder injury, uh, and likewise Hamish Free with his shoulder injury. Uh, on top of things like concussions, Cam Zurhar with that facial fracture, Chai Simkin with his finger fracture, so uh, that all basically adds up to our, our traumatic numbers for the year. Illness and other, within that you would have Jai Simkin um, from an AFL suspension point of view, and, and Taryn Thomas obviously with a disciplinary action earlier in the year. So a quick synopsis when we look at um, controllable versus uncontrollable. For the uncontrollable factors and injuries, um, we've lost 84% of our games due to these factors this year, which is extremely high. Our soft tissue and our overuse injury rates have been pretty low, um, which is something that we're really proud of, but as I say, a really high number of, of traumatic injuries that we've been dealt in this first half of the year. So the biggest impact obviously with injury um, for our perspective is, is squad availability for our games. Um, so as you can see in the graph, we've had pretty high squad availability throughout the, the first 14 rounds. Um, we generally look for a KPI of above 85% availability of the squad, which would in turn leave 24 of your AFL squad players and 15 players at VFL level for that week. And there was a couple of games where we did see a spike off the back of um, some increased trauma in games. But generally we've been sort of going on that sort of five to six players uh, each week that we've been missing. And, and as we spoke about earlier, um, some of those boys with those traumatic injuries are longer term injuries that keeping those costs more minimal is, is harder when you've got higher ends of, uh, of traumatic injury. So hopefully with the, the strong availability that we've had so far in the first half of the season, it's, it's lent itself to um, some strong VFL performances in particular uh, and those, those young boys getting continuities of game played together. Uh, and now posted by uh, the big thing is Hopefully we can minimise um, the uncontrollable injuries uh, through traumatic, uh, maintain that, that minimal soft tissue and overuse injury and, and then obviously get some cavalry coming back after the bye which will increase um, the availability of the squad for the last nine games of the season.